Everybody, it's HPP, and we're continuing down Route 12. All right, so we're fighting this junior trainer, and I think she has a lot of the same Pokemon. She's actually a lot like that one junior trainer we fought at the end of the Rock Tunnel. Just got a Pidgey, Meowth, and something else, I don't remember. But, I mean, my Pokemon are more than a match for that, so we'll just get that out of the way and move on, shall we? Ah. Uh, I mean, my bird Pokemon are so much better than her bird Pokemon and her Meowth. My bird Pokemon is... My grammar are good. Yeah, so this is a pretty boring fight. Same Pokemon, same stuff. Just want to get this out of the way. Come on, come on, come on. But, uh, yeah, talk about something a little more interesting. I saw the uh, Robin Hood movie today. It was a pretty good, uh, I mean, I liked it. It wasn't really a Robin Hood movie, though. It was more a setting up for a Robin Hood movie movie. Because it was about, uh, uh, no spoilers, about this guy who eventually became Robin Hood. But that doesn't really show up until the end of the movie. So, I don't know what it was. I don't know, I enjoyed it. But like I said when I talked about Clash of the Titans, I'm pretty easy when it comes to movies. But, um... Yeah, and I played more of Super Mario Galaxy today. Uh, I did all of the bedroom segment of the game today which includes the gusty garden galaxy which has probably the best music in the game and that's saying something because a lot of the music in that game is fantastic but I mean even though it's the best music in the game that was probably my least favorite galaxy in the whole game so far besides that big mouth galaxy that was just stupid but that's a short galaxy, uh, so we're going to try and work our way around here while I'm talking about something completely different. You can actually skip all of the trainers here. You just have to be kind of picky with the direction you take. And uh, be sure you don't run into anything. So you skip this guy, skip this guy, and go down here, I think. Uh, yeah, go down here and skip that guy, and we'll actually be home free. We're almost to Fuchsia City. I know I took the long route, but for some reason I prefer this to going down Cycling Road. And you can skip this biker and this guy. Just keep going. Anyway, back to Mario Galaxy. Yeah, Gusty Garden Galaxy was really annoying and I really hated playing through it. Just because the second mission where you have to go past that third um, planetoid or the or, wait, no, in the first mission you go to a lot of planetoids. For some reason I had a lot of trouble using those fluff things and flying through the wind currents, because for some reason I didn't realize that I had to fly through the wind currents. The first time I guess I got really lucky, because I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing the first time. But the second mission, I must have died, I think, ten times going from the first planetoid to the second, and I had no idea how to get to the third planetoid. Then I finally caught all the wind drafts and moved over to where the moles were. But once I got past that once I got past that galaxy, I was pretty happy. So I unfortunately ran into this trainer right here, because I'm an idiot, so we'll just fight her. And that was pretty easy. Flying beats grass. Hooray! What was that voice? Uh, give Charmeleon some uh, battling here, try to get him leveled up. I might actually make him our strongest Pokemon in the next part or so. Um, just after we get one more rare candy. Just because I'm gonna need all the power I can get to uh, beat the gym leader. And, you know, I don't have anything better to use the rare candies on. I might as well give them all to Charmeleon and evolve him. That'll make him somewhat overleveled than everybody else, but he won't get as much fighting done in the next gym as the other ones will. He'll probably get something done on the gym leader, because all the gym leader's Pokemon are part bug. I mean, so if he, you know, he's a Charizard, he can just destroy them. But apart from that, he won't see much other stuff going on. Hypno will, and probably, um, Dodrio or something. But, yeah. Um, so another thing about Galaxy is I unlocked the Trial Galaxies. And those things are ridiculous. I know I said yesterday that it's a pretty easy game, and overall it is, but what the... what is with those trial galaxies? Those are just ridiculous. That one with the ball where you have to roll that around? How are you supposed to do that? 
I don't even know, like, I can get past the first part, I can usually get past that weird diagonal, uh, line platform thing at the beginning, just by jumping and hoping I don't fall off. But, when you get to, like, the gears, and that block that's pushing you, I have no idea what to do. It's stupid, I hate the controls there. And I end up cursing Nintendo for their stupid motion controls and their, you know, love for that when it sucks. Okay, so here's another one of those rooms, and I think this might be the one. Oh, look, it's like, like looks like a small island. And over here, hmm, a large shining bird is flying towards the sea. And here we see Articuno, who is one of the legendary bird Pokemon. Which I think I mentioned that you could see them through the binoculars. And now we can actually find him in our Pokedex. And this guy will give us an experience share. In this game, it's called an experience all. But he'll give us an experience share, which we can give to a Pokemon. Wait. Actually, wait, I don't know how that works in this game. I've forgotten. Because you don't have um, hold items, I don't know how that's supposed to work in this game. Does it give experience to... I'm going to have to look that up. I have no idea, actually. I... Wow, I'm just utterly confused. For a minute I thought, well, in Leaf Green, it, uh... You could give it to a Pokemon and it would give them experience. But that's because in Leaf Green you can give Pokemon items, and this you can't give them items, which I forgot. Um, alright, I'm at a loss here. It must give experience to every Pokemon, because it is the experience all, after all. But that kind of sucks, because you're splitting experience way too much. I don't actually want that item. Um, wow. Okay, so we're just going to go through Fuchsia City here, and um, I'll probably stop us off before we have to go into the Safari Zone, and that'll be the next video, or part of it. It won't take that long. Oh, and in these cages here, like I'll show you right here, you can see uh, Pokemon, and it'll add them to your Pokedex, not their data, just their picture. And there's some pretty interesting Pokemon here, like, I'll just kind of tell you what they are. This one right here is Chansey. And there's a Pokeball Pokemon. I mean, Voltorb. No, and there's a Pokeball. No, it's a Voltorb. And I don't know why they have that there. I mean, everybody's seen a Voltorb before. This is Ammonite, actually. I should... Uh, I won't look at it. I'll look at this one, though, because this is Kangaskhan. And, uh... Yeah, I'm a turtle Pokemon that raises a... Yeah, why am I reading that? Anyway, that's Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, one other interesting thing I'll note, actually, I'll mention that in the next video, I'm almost out of time here. So we're gonna start the Safari Zone in the next video, pay 500 to get in. But, uh, between now and the next video, uh, this is HPP, and I'll see y'all. Have a good day.